Matt Smith here with Wake Up for more of the behind the scenes with Palos, the legend herself, Jess C. One of my favorite humans, one of my family's favorite, best friends in the world, just an amazing mother, amazing businesswoman, and we're just excited to be here today to tell her side of the story just a little bit more. And on this episode, I want to tell you how Grant Cardone called me an idiot outside, but stay tuned for that. It's like shop, barber shop talk right now or something. I like this. Uh, but anyway, so I came in here with, with a camera crew, a pretty big in camera crew. And and I, to me, I was on a mission to just highlight how amazing you are, how amazing of a business person you are. I've known you since you used to cut my hair in your basement. Yes. <laughs> and to the, long way. <laughs> to the long way. To, then you went up to a smaller shop upstairs by my office. Mm -hmm. To, to being so successful that now you've built your own shop and on the verge of potentially opening more shops. You're just, you're one of the hardest working women I've ever met in my entire life. But beyond that, you're probably one of the best mothers I've ever met in my entire life. And you inspired me and my own wife as a parent. So I was just honored to get you on the show and say like, you gotta meet Jess. You, you've gotta meet this person during the show. So tell me. Well, thank you for all of that. I appreciate that. <laughs> absolutely. And you, your husband was in my wedding. That's that's how that's how much you guys mean to our family okay. for sure. So, um, but beyond all of that, I brought this case, crazy camera crew in here and these minivans all over outside. And I brought this Lewis Curtis guy in here. Tell me, uh, tell me what you remember of that day. And I don't know if you watched the episode. I want to talk about that. But let's just start from the beginning. What, what did you what, what do you remember about that? You know, it wasn't what I expected because, of course, you're given a different premise than what the show was actually about. I think I called you and said, hey, I want to bring a camera crew. I want right. to talk to you a little bit about maybe marketing and, and just, you know, be open minded. But like, I, I just want to highlight you, you know, because this to me, this is where there was a this is a little bit of a disconnect on this episode. That why I was called an idiot, I think that's funny to me still, but it uh, was because we're, this was a movement to help all small businesses for sure. So how did you, how did you feel about us? I mean, all of us coming in here. What was your take? You know, as we got to talking, it was very obvious very quickly that I was a waste of. Um, Lewis or Grant's time. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I, and I think I've learned that now, being with the Discovery Channel, understanding what his motives were, it makes a little bit more sense right. to me and why me and him got an argument outside. But at the time, I was like, these people need to be highlighted in our community. They're two of the most amazing people I know, and they just, you truly do such an amazing business. You know, that, that was a little offensive to me because I was, this, this was to highlight an amazing business owner in our community. Uh, through the eyes of this this camera crew that was doing a documentary on Pueblo. So, mm -hmm. uh, for the first time, I mean, this is when, so when me and Lewis Curtis went outside after this was all said and done, I, I, I kind of lost it a little bit because of the way that he, you know, the aggressiveness that he had in here. And I was like, dude, like this whole thing is a movement for Pueblo. This is to highlight the amazing people, amazing businesses. And, and then he was very skittish, like, we're wasting our time and our energy and stuff like that. I'm like, no, we're not. Like, we're on different pages. If you think that this is all about the dollar, I will never take advantage of somebody to make a dollar. I will lose money before I take advantage of anybody. And, and that conversation happened out there. And at some point in that conversation, I remember Greg going, you're an idiot. <laughs> and I remember pulling back and going, did you just, what? Did you just call me an idiot? And he was like... Anyway, yeah, I, 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 didn't, I don't know if I meant that, but like this, you, what you're doing right here is we need the bigger fish. We need to get big money and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We need to help everybody from the largest business to the smallest business and make sure that we help highlight how amazing this community was. So that was the first moment that me and Grant got a pretty heavy argument. I was really hoping that that would highlight on the show and they didn't show it. You know, it showed, right. it showed my side saying, hey, we got to go for the small businesses too. But it didn't highlight the intensity of that conversation. And afterwards, you know, I, I just want you to know from my side of it, I apologize. Like, you, you're just such a special human. And, and, and you deserve all the accolades in the world for what you're doing around here. Um, when he asked what my Instagram was, and he told me that was the first thing I needed to change. And I don't know <laughs> if that was directly towards my name or what. Um, because it is part of the story of my business. Yeah. You know, my grandpa came from Mexico and he was a migrant worker. 
So our name is Pelos because it just touches those Mexican roots, you know? And so to have him suggest that I change it was slightly offensive when it was supposed to be about the story of the business and that's a huge part of the story. Yes. <laughs> so to have, you know, come from a family where my grandpa started that way and then now to have my own business. I think it's beautiful. It's just, to me, that's, that's a level of success even it's though it wasn't big enough for him. It, talking to men in business and in different avenues, sometimes they don't give you the same type of respect or acknowledgement or don't ex expect you to carry a certain amount of, of knowledge or confidence. And so that's something that you kind of start to learn how to overcome and brush off as a businesswoman. And so that's really what I did. I just kind of brushed it off like, okay, <laughs> like it just hit his opinion doesn't affect my, doesn't define my success, I guess. And so I know what I've accomplished and I'm proud of it and I don't need his approval to, to justify that, I guess. So um, eventually we would love to have a second location up in Colorado Springs. And then long term, I'd really like to franchise. So this one is Telos by Jesse, and I feel like it would be amazing to have some of our stylists grow into owners themselves so that they could have their own Telos, like Telos by Trina, Telos by Alyssa, or whatever their name may be. And, and, and you are truly one of the hardest working women I've ever met in my life, and it shows. That's why you're so successful at what you do. Thank you. I appreciate it.